What a silly dream! Mr. Krabs had to close the Krusty Krab! Like that it ever happened. I have the feeling today will be like no other day! <sighs> now I wonder where Gary is. I should probably walk him before I go to work. <laughs> Wait till I tell you about my crazy dream where the Krusty Krab was closed and... Meow! <gasps> oh, you don't say. You had a dream too? Meow! 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 That something really bad is gonna happen? Uh-huh. Meow! 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 Whoa, that really is bad. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. I'll go fetch your favorite fetching stick. Never fear, Mermaid Man, for you are not alone in your fight against injustice. Don't you think your little friend Gary would like to play some fetch? Very well. Then move next to his fetching stick and press the action button to pick it up. Then you can carry the stick to Gary and delight him. You didn't think I was gonna leave for work without a quick game of fetch, did you, Gary? Now come on, boy! Go long! Longer! Longer! <laughs> What did you dig up outside, boy? Hmm, there's something written on it. I think it says, Damger, Donut Alpine, Orelsi. I wonder what that means. Well, maybe we should see what's inside. <coughs> oh, don't be such a soggy sport, Gary. What harm can there be in just a little peek? <coughs> just what I always wanted, a muddy little bottle. Just think of all the fun we can have cleaning it! Here we go! Arr, who summons me from my endless slumber? I'll have your eyes for appetizers and your insides for dessert, for I am the Flying Dutchman! I'm sorry about that. Just hop right back into your bottle and we'll bury you back out in the yard so you can... Silence! I'll not return to that prison ever again! And what's this? You've gotten into my treasure, have you? Ooh, I hate it when someone messes with my doubloons. Now, what shall I do with ye lowly knaves who dared stir me up? Let me consult my rule book on ghostly doings. Hmm, in the case of accidental discovery and wanton disruption of my booty, the perpetrators must serve for an eternity on my bloody crew. Well, I ain't never been out to sea with a talking cheese block before, but rules is rules, so I gotta take you with me. Are you ready? Hold on there, Mr. Dutchman, sir. Uh, technically speaking, it was not me who found you. Gary's the one who dug you up. Ooh, that's a relief. This little varmint looks like he can do ten times the work. If he can survive my hypnotic spell. <laughs> No, not Gary! That's not what I meant! Take me, me, me! Not him, him, him! Too late! My decision is made! Now I've got to check on the treasure stashed back on my ship to make sure no one's been spreading that around. But I'll return shortly to pick up my new crewmate. 
Say your farewells before I return. Don't worry, Gary. I'll think of something, and it'll be the type of something that will save you. You can bet on it. Oh. Look at this! A bus stop! <sighs> I wish I could take a long ride on the bus. Just think of all the amazing places outside Bikini Bottom and all the fun things I could do. Your wish can easily come true. All you need is the right ticket for this bus stop. When you have the correct ticket, Jump onto the bench and the bus will stop for you. Oh, tartar sauce. I still don't have the right ticket for this bus stop. I really need to reach that other ledge, but I don't think I have it in me. Don't be discouraged. You can do it. Press jump, then you can glide a bit farther if you press jump again before you land. Who would leave a letter tile sitting around like that? It's as if someone wanted me to find it. That is no ordinary letter tile. It is a clue. Gather all the letters that spell your name, and you will have enough clues to find a hidden treasure. Something fell on my roof and now my TV doesn't work. I can't get up there to fix the thingy and I'm missing all my favorite shows. No! Oh, that's too bad. I wish there was something I could do to help. Ah, but there is. You can get up there if you try. Hold the duck button, then press the jump button to reach high places. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? I'm missing my shows. A real buddy would get up there and make my life complete again. Alrighty, looks like I found your problem. There's a big thingy on your thingy and it's all bent out of shape. But it looks too big for me to move. You don't need to move it when you can simply break it apart. Face the container and press the action button to carrot it, chop it. My TV is fixed! You saved me from thinking, SpongeBob! Save your gratitude, my jolly pink friend. It's all in a day's work for a sponge such as I. But, uh, maybe you can help me with a problem that I'm having. You see, it all started this morning, when Gary and I were playing fetch. Oh, on second thought, who wants to stay at home and watch TV on a day like this? I'm going downtown to see the new construction site. Maybe you could meet me there, and we'll play Mermaid Man and Vertical Boy. Last one, there's a nematode!
butter sauce. Clams in the trash again. Looks like Mr. Krabs will have to call the exterminator. Do not be so hasty, for these clams are just a part of the cycle of life. When a clam shuts its mouth, you can jump onto it and launch very high. Sometimes, valuable things are hidden in high places. Mr. Krabs warned me about playing hooky, but they look so fun! Maybe just one quick ride while no one's looking. Ah, you little troublemaker. Those hooks can be very dangerous, but I promise not to tell if you use your fishing net to hang from them. That's the only safe way to do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sauce. I still...
afraid of the big bad Dutchman. Not us. I heard that. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
little varmint. The time has come for you to join my ghostly crew. No use fighting it. Your fate's been decided. Now looky here what I got for you. That's right. Watch the little sticky. <laughs> Gary, where are you, boy? Gary! Why did you take Gary, Mr. Dutchman? Why? 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 No one makes my best friends into pirates, and I mean no one! Never fear, Mer- Hello, SpongeBob. So nice of you to finally join us. Squidward! Am I glad to see you. You won't believe what just happened to me and Gary. I don't have time for another one of your ridiculous tales. Mr. Krabs wants us to get to the Krusty Krab right away so he can tell us some important news. Important news? Maybe Mr. Krabs is going to announce the employee of the month. What are we waiting for? Beats me. You just keep chattering away, and I'll see you there when you're done. So that's how it is. Trying to hear the news before me, eh? Well, let's see who can get to the Krusty Krab first! Ah, uh, sure. Whatever. Once again, we see that more legs doesn't mean more speed. And once again, we see that more holes in your head means less stays inside of it. All right, you two, stop your jabbering! I've got some difficult news to tell you. Business has been very slow lately, so I'm gonna shut down the Krusty Krab until it picks up again. Sh -sh shut down the Krusty Krab? I think I'm gonna faint. You boys can hang around here or go home, but I can't pay you one way or the other. Sorry. Well, isn't that just great? I'm going home to think of some ways to pay the bills. So long, SpongeBob! Jeepers, Mr. Krabs, why do you think our business is so slow? No one seems interested in going out anymore. They think it's too much trouble to leave home. 
Too bad we can't move the Krusty Krab into their homes. SpongeBob! That's it! We'll do just that! Yeah! What is that? Oh, you want to move the Krusty Krab! Should I get a hammer? Never mind that. I'm going downtown to set things up. You take this bus ticket and meet me there as soon as you can! So this is downtown Bikini Bottom. How will I ever find Mr. Krabs in such a huge place where the streets never end and the buildings just go on and on and on? Yoo-hoo! SpongeBob over here! <laughs> Glad you finally made it, lad. Between you and me and this here cart, there's no stopping us now! Just what exactly is your plan, Mr. Krabs? It's just like you said, SpongeBob. If no one wants to leave home, then we bring the Krusty Krab to them! I'm talking about food delivery! I'll put out a bag filled with patties whenever enough orders come in. You need to grab the bag and get to all our customers before it's too late. There might even be some tip money in it for you. This sounds like fun, Mr. Krabs! Great! This delivery is to a single location, 17 Seashell Street. Go to Seashell Street, then look for the 17 on the building, then drop off the food at the door. Our food is very popular, so watch out for rough characters who might try to take it from you. Mr. Krabs? 
This delivery is a little trickier. There's a building under construction nearby, and it's full of very hungry workers. Find the two workers who placed the order. Some of the other workers might try to take the food from you. Order up! Another bag of delicious Krabby Patties served up hot. Who wants a slice of this cakewalk now? This delivery won't be easy at all. Three different parties called from the high-rise apartments. <laughs> Thank you. 
first address is Apartment 9. I wrote down the other two addresses for you. Make sure to visit both buildings. Good luck! I can get Sandy a gift. Well, this is your last delivery. Four orders have been called in from this neighborhood.